Hi, it's Dave Radcliffe with the Radcliffe Group, Keller Williams Realty Southwest, and I'm here with my buddy Kelly Wade uh, with Wade Valuation. He's, uh, he's just a wealth of information uh, about appraisal, and frankly, he's forgotten more about appraisal than most appraisers in my estimation know. Uh, you know that's true. Yep. So what we're talking about today is how to get your house ready for the appraiser. So, you know, we sell it, we market the house, we get it under contract, and the job's not done. So how can we present your property best to the guy that's going to go out and do a critical document, an appraisal, to make sure that the lender's going to lend properly and we don't have, you know, some real estate nightmare. You know, the real estate blues are not exactly something you want to see uh, and have a low appraisal. So, Kelly, can you give us a little idea of what you... Sure. to do and what not to do sure. when you show up at the house. Well, first of all, it starts prior to becoming there, and you definitely have to use agents like Dave Radcliffe that know what the heck they're doing, that are going to have that property ready for listing, and a lot of this stuff is going to be taken, at, at, taken care of within the first week of you taking a listing agreement. Um, when I call, typically we're the last one of the last parts of the process. So if there's anything that was suggested that might need repair, anything major that needs repair, if anything has failed in between that time, garbage disposer, you know, the appraiser's going to come in and he's going to work a sample of the plumbing fi fixtures. He's going to maybe open and uh, close a few doors and windows, those types of things. But the inspection's going to be entirely visual. So what you want to do is just make the, sure that the properties. In, in good shape and that it's, you know, obviously you don't have to go in and replace the flooring or anything like that unless David has recommended that. But from the appraisal perspective, we're just looking to see that um, the house structurally um, is sound and that it's safe and that it's saleable. So would you also be looking at condition and want to make sure that it's cleaned up, nice looking uh, as possible? So whatever part of that market range that you could run it toward the top rather than toward the bottom because of how it looks? Well, appraisers are human beings and we're going to walk into a house and we're going to get a more comfortable feeling about a house that's been taken care of. It's, we're going to get a better feeling about it than a house that's in disarray. So I think, yes, common sense would dictate that, you know, clean the house to a certain extent. But we are only looking at the house. We're not looking at your furniture. We're not looking at your cars. We're not looking at anything that's personal property or pictures or anything like that. We're only looking at the house. So just be concerned that the house looks presentable. Okay. Um, anything in specific? I know that uh, different loans have different requirements, but broken windows, going to get mentioned. Uh, seismic straps. Seismic straps are one of the new ones over the last couple of years, and I'm a believer that, uh, you know, we just had an a earthquake not too long ago, and, um, you know, if you've got a gas water heater, uh, it's good to have those seismic straps on there regardless of whether you're selling your house or not, uh, just to keep that water heater intact. So this is something we should be telling clients uh, during this process to put them on be so we don't get... Uh, a reinspection fee because you'll have to go back out to make sure the seismic straps are on, correct? Absolutely. Um, a good agent's going to be telling you about all these things ahead of time, um, and uh, so therefore it shouldn't be a big surprise when the appraiser comes out there what the appraiser is going to be looking at. So, if I understand correctly, get the house all cleaned up nice as it can be, make sure that obvious things are taken care of. Uh, you're not really too concerned about their pictures or their clothes. Not at all. Uh, you know, the kids' toys. Not at all. Any of that at no, all. Don't even notice the stuff. <laughs> okay. So that's just the real basic there. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate everything, buddy. If you have more questions about to prepare yourself for the appraisal process, give me a call on the phone or go to my website for more information. We'd love to talk to you about it. Have a great day.